hi and welcome to my channel my name is favor and in this channel i share sewing diy bag making videos and fashion tips and in this video i'm going to be showing you how i made this bow bag using leather and ankara now if you're just coming across my channel for the very first time please do want to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video now without further ado let's start so the first thing you want to do is bring out all the pieces you are going to be using and for this i'm going to be using um that's the pieces of ankara fabric um leather um pieces of fabric for lining and also um the leather now this is a very soft leather you can use whichever type of leather you want for this so the first thing i'm going to be doing is drafting out my pattern so this is just me ruling down a straight line so that i can use that at a, as a starting point so for the length of the bag i'm going to be using 10 inches and for the width i'm going to be using 14 inches now i'm going to be cutting just two pieces of this on the leather i'm going to go ahead and cut that off after measuring and then i'm going to go ahead and cut out um lining pieces for it too the same way So after cutting out these are all of the pieces i have and i also this is also going to be the zip i'm going to be using for this bag as the closure for the bag so here on my sewing machine um i cut out a long strap of leather that is measured 1.5 inches by 41. this is going to be serving as the handle of this bag and the measurement for that is 1.5 inches by 41 so i'm i'm going to um after cutting this out i'm just going to go ahead and sew this on my sewing machine i'm going to be folding the two edges inwards and then sewing on it so i've gone ahead and sewn that i did that off camera so the next thing i'm going to be working on is the body of the bag itself so the first thing you want to do is take one piece of leather and take one piece of lining and i'm going to be joining this together now the way i'm going to be joining this is i'm going to be placing the um lining piece at the front at the front part of the leather and then i'm just going to be sewing um the three corners of the bag and then i'll leave the upper part i won't sew on the upper part that is the place i'm going to be using to turn this to the front so i'm just going to go ahead and do that now okay so after sewing that and turning it to the right side i'm going to go ahead and top stitch all the corners even the side that i did not sew i'm going to top stitch everything 
so here i discovered um it was a bit difficult sewing this from the leather side so i um i turned it to the lining side and sewed on i'm um, sewed from there instead so this is where i turned it because it was a bit difficult for my machine to sew from the leather even with the oil i don't know why so it would be easier if you do it this way if you're going to be sewing this too Okay friends, so after top stitching, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing for the other side, um, for the other leather too. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to be doing is, here yeah, I've gone ahead and sewed the other side too. So here I'm just going to be joining all the pieces together. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is marking out two inches from that upper part where we didn't turn. That is where our leather, our um, zip is going to be sitting on. So from that part, I'm going to be marking two inches inwards from both sides. So that is that two inches um, is going to be serving as the opening for where the zip is going to be sitting on. So I'm just going to be marking two inches on both sides and then sew on that two inches I added. So while sewing, I'm also going to be inserting my... Um, my handle there so my handle is going to be sitting there too So after sewing that and also putting my handle, the next thing I'm going to be doing is fixing my zip on that opening. So please just watch closely on how I did this because this is going to be self-explanatory. So just watch closely as to how I inserted the zip to the bag.
Okay, friends. So now we've inserted our zip. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is um, sewing the corners of this bag. Now, I just turned this to the wrong side. And then I went ahead and sewed on the corners. I did that off camera, as you can see. So I'm just going to be flipping this to the front So this is what our bag is looking like so far so the next thing and the last thing to do is to put in a uh, fabric that is going to be making this look like a bow now the measurement i'm using for this is 11 inches by 11 inches by four so for the the full length is about 11 inches 11.5 inches actually and the width is 4.5 inches so I'm just going to be measuring that and then I'm cutting it off before sewing. So after sewing this, I'm just going to fold this into two and then top and then notch on the center. I'm going to do that on both edges. And then I'm going to measure what I have left here on the bag, which is about 13 inches. And the middle of 13 inches is 6.5. So I'm just going to be remeasuring that. Sorry, I thought it was 15 inches initially. So I remeasured and it was 13 inches and I just marked the middle of um 13 inches which is 6.5 so that's where my um anchor strap is going to be sitting. and make sure if you're placing this make sure the part that you know is aligned with the part that you marked on the leather so i'm going to pin that down and then repeat the same thing on the other side before sewing that with my machine So after printing this i discovered that oh it, the strap was a bit long because it wasn't bowing it wasn't giving me giving me that bow shape that i wanted so what i did was i um folded the bow the strap the ankara strap a little bit more before sewing now i'm going to fold in the other side too a little bit more before sewing and this is the um this is just it we have come to the end of this video because that that is the last thing you're going to be doing before getting your bags so friends we have come to the end of this video if you've watched this video till this point do well to give this video a thumbs up so youtube can show this video to more people